Hey guys, KSKR all here, back again with another Pocophone F1 video. Many of you guys are asking me in the comments below how to root or install TWRP custom recovery on Poco F1. Well, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install official TWRP recovery and root your Pocophone F1 very easily. So this is a step-by-step -step guide. So watch the video till to the end without missing any part of the video. So let's get started. Alright guys, the first thing first, go ahead and download all of the necessary files from the links in the description down below. Once you have downloaded all of the files, and go ahead and move it to the desktop for easier navigation. Now go ahead and connect your Pocophone F1 to the computer and copy the magisk and disable force encryption zip files to the internal storage of the device. Once it's done, now extract the flat form tools using a WinRAR extractor or any other extractor. Inside this extracted folder, you will find all of the necessary tools like ADB, Fastboot, as well as some flat form dependent files. Now move the main TWRP image file into this extracted folder and make sure you have moved or copied the TWRP image file inside of the directory where ADB and Fastboot command files are present. Now, highlight the address bar from the top and type CMD and press the return key to open the command prompt from the present working directory. Switching back to the camera view, on your Pocophone F1, so as you can see, I am running the MIUI 10.2.2, so this is a global stable version I'm running on my device and it's based on Android 9 pound of Pi and, uh, and also make sure you need to back up your important files just to be on a safer side and of course this method will not erase any data from your phone but if you're doing this for the first time it's always recommended to back up your important data to the computer or SD card also make sure your device is having a sufficient battery juice and having an unlocked bootloader so if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader you can watch that video by clicking on the card from here Now go ahead and take the USB cable and connect it to your POCO oven. Then invoke the power menu and click on reboot button. As soon as you click on the reboot button, keep holding the volume down button until you see a fast boot logo. Then inside the computer type fast boot devices. And then you can see a string of text which indicates the device is recognized by the PC. Just in case if you don't see your ID here, then try to restart your computer and use a different USB ports or install the drivers. Then I will type a DIR, so which stands for a directory, uh, to list off all of the files from the current directory. So this is the file you need to flash and make sure you're inside the right directory. Then type this command fastboot flash recovery and type TWRP and press the tab key to auto complete the whole text and press the return key to flash the TWRP recovery. Once it's done, type fast boot boot TWRP again, press the tab key to auto complete and press the return key to boot into the TWRP custom recovery. When you are inside the TWRP recovery, the first thing you need to do is select install zip option and flash disable force encryption zip file. So this will prevent the MIUI from overriding the TWRP with a stock MIUI recovery. Since we are flashing official TWRP recovery, it automatically decrypts the data partition temporarily. If you want to keep the TWRP recovery permanently, you must need to flash this file. So just in case if you don't flash this file and reboot the system, the MIUI will replace TWRP back with the stock recovery so anyway once it's done flashing the DFE shortly known as a disable force encryption zip file now choose the reboot option and reboot back to the recovery again This time you need to flash a Majeska zip file so in order to root your device it's completely optional if you want to root your device you can you have to flash this file so to do so choose install zip option and flash a Majeska zip files so once it's done choose a reboot and reboot the system
And that's it, by now you have successfully installed TWRP recovery and rooted your device. To verify, open the app drawer and make sure the Magisk Manager has installed. Then download an application from the Play Store called a Root Checker and if I click on verify root and you can see it's working. If in case you're having any issues, you can always ask me in the comments down below. And if you are stuck at the boot loop or at the boot logo, you can watch the video or the fixed video from the links in the description down below. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified. So thanks for watching. This is KS Kyle. I'll catch you in my next video.